Hey guys, Flabaliki here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install my plugin online players. Um, so I've got the, this is what you get when you download the plugin and uh, unzip it. So first thing we're going to do is actually going to get the plugin uh, jar file, and I'm going to open up my Minecraft server plugins folder, which is over here. Ah, it's really small, sorry about that. Um, so we go to our plugins folder right here, and we just get the jar folder and the online players folder here, and drag them both into here. Now we want to go into this folder and actually configure it, uh, configure it basically, because we need to. Um, so we got three settings here basically. Um, we need to enter the URL of the players PHP file. Now that for that we need to actually go into the website folder in the well in the file you downloaded, and you'll see these files here. So these files need to go into a place that users can access from the internet, basically. So if they type in a web address, say, I don't know, http colon slash slash myawesomewebsite.com slash players or something, I don't know, and then it will, and so you, just so you can access these files online. Otherwise, it's completely pointless and it, it won't work. So um, for me, that location is actually on my computer because that's where I'm doing it right now in my testing environment. So I'm going to open up my web folder right here. So basically, this is going to be accessed when I go localhost slash online, and it will give me the online players list. So I'm just going to copy all of these files into there. And we can close that now, because we no longer need that. Um, so now that we know where our players.php file is, and it's important to have this on the end, we can change all the bits in between to your... Just change it to your website, wherever you're uploading it to. Okay, so that's where mine is going to be. And my password, you can just leave it as admin, it really doesn't matter to be honest. But it's just a tiny added security if you really want to add it. Um, automatic updates. Now, I'll explain this a bit. There are two settings for this. There's one in this file and there's also <coughs> one in the web, the web configuration as well. Um, basically, you either want them both to be true or both to be false. You can have one true and one false, but this may cause compatibility issues and it would not turn out too well for you. So I recommend either having them both true or both false. Basically what it will do, if there's a new version, it will completely download it, install, and do it all for you, so you don't have to do anything else. So you just download it once, install it once, and everything else is done for you. So that's that. Um, yeah, so I personally I leave it on true because it makes it so much easier. It's just uh, in the case that maybe something is wrong with the latest version or something you don't like about it, you just turn it to false and then you can keep using the old version, basically. Um, so we've, we've configured our plugin uh, now, and we want to go to our web directory, which is this one here, and open up this configuration file. Now this one is slightly longer than the other one, but don't fear, because everything below this point here, where it says CSS configuration, is completely optional. It's just to stylize the page and make it look pretty, basically. Okay, so the first thing we need to change, which is absolutely crucial, well, it's not really, it's just a server name, I'm going to call it localhost, and your server IP, um, just so people can join it if they don't know the IP. So it's going to be, for me, it would be, I guess, localhost. It would just be localhost. <laughs> and then display the IP. So, like, you can put the IP in, but you can also hide it. Like, maybe if you don't need it, if you just want a pure list of players, you can go false and just hide that away. And this password needs to this uh, password needs to match the one you set in the other configuration file, so then the two scripts can work together and all of that. Um, now, this refresh rate here, at the moment, it's set to refresh the page every 10 seconds. That means every 10 seconds, it's going to re-download uh, the list from the server, the uh, Minecraft server, and check who's online. Um, I recommend leaving it at 10 seconds, because if you make it go too fast, it can put too much load on the server. But, I mean, that's obviously... That's only if you really, really make it go fast. Like, um, on my computer, I set it to 1, to 1 millisecond, to see how, how much stress it would put on it. And it put a fair bit of stress. It was going... It was beasting along, say, 80% CPU. But anyways, um, leave it on 10. I recommend that. That's fine. It's just there in case you want to change it. Um, display the version number. Down the bottom of the list, is, uh, you can have the version number be displayed. And a powered by line and automatic updates here. Remember, this should match the other one. And then everything else below here is just uh, color options, style options, font options, all that sort of stuff. So that file is actually done. Now, if you're running this on a Linux uh, operating system, you need to chmod this file here, this one, and this one. They all need to be 0646 or 0666. Either way, but it, they need to be that so they can be automatically updated and written to, basically. So if you don't do that, then it can cause issues. 
Um, so we are actually done with this now. So what we have to do is just go and run our Minecraft server. Assuming that there are no issues that I've forgotten. Let's see. So we'll come up here and... Just give it a second. Oh, there we are. Online players v1.0 enabled successfully. So that means it worked, basically. And if you're wondering why it, t it took a little while to start up there, that is because it actually checks for the latest version online. And and my connection is not too crash hot, so it, it took a little while. Um, so our server is running. And now what we can do is actually go to our online players list, which is here, which we've just uploaded. And you can see it here. It's got our configuration of localhost, our port, number of players that can be online, the version number down there, and localhost is online. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go into the server just so we can actually see it working, per se. Um, no, I don't want that. I'll have this open. And I'll just make this a bit smaller. This is a bit more appropriate. And then we'll join the server and we should see myself up there. Up, up, up there. Um, remember, it refreshes every 10 seconds. So if you really don't want to wait, you can press F5. But you can see I've already popped up there. So there's my name. I've joined the game, I've showed up in the list, and obviously you can have a lot of people in this list, and operators will show up the top of the list in a green name, which I, could, I guess I could show you right now if I just alt myself, go like that, we'll just disconnect to make it a bit quicker, and just wait for me to join again, and I might, just because I'm lazy, I'm going to just press F5, there we are, I'm green now because I'm an operator on the server. Okay, so that's all that, that's all well and good, but what if I don't want all this crap up the top. Now, I was telling you about the options, the style options. Not in there. In our web directory, uh, sorry, which would be right here in our web folder, our configuration file in the website directory. Um, so there are a few options. So maybe we'll hide the IP. I don't want that to show. So I'm going to get a false on that. It's going to refresh that quickly. And then the IP disappears, basically. Maybe I don't want all this other stuff around the place. Oh, maybe, actually, first of all, maybe I don't want the version number there. I don't want people to know what version I'm running. What if they do something with it? Um, so that just gets rid of the version number. And powered by line, I'll just show you what this is, in case you're wondering. Basically, it just says powered by online players. And it's just a nice way to say thanks to me, because then people will know what it is, and they may click it and download it themselves. Um, down here, there's another option called Simple List. Basically, if I make this true, it will only display usernames. Oh, and that, because I've got that enabled to true. Let's go false on that one. So basically, it only displays who's in the server. Nothing else. This is, this is in case you want to incorporate it into a web page and you don't want anything else there, and you can just do it all yourself. So basically, it's really versatile. It's really easy to use, quick to set up, and I hope you guys like this plugin. Thank you.